Ian. Pat. Sad times for uh, video game preservation. Oh, yeah, this is... It, it, we're on the upswing until this uh, this news came. Yeah, this is gross. So, back into game preservation and the shady, shitty stuff that goes on. Forest of Illusion reports that they regret to inform that the auction for Indy the Magical Kid, an undumped Famicom game... Prototype. Prototype. Um, Unreleased. It ended up... They, they were unable to... So, basically... Forced of Illusion, they fu- they found out that there's this undumped prototype, right? It's called uh, Indie the Magical Kid. It was on, what, Yahoo Auction? Yes. Okay. It went up, and people pooled money together to try to make sure that it was one to be preserved. I think what they had was 1 million yen, or 1.5 million yen. The game ended up selling for 1,501,000 yen. Which is 13,750 U.S. Right. It's a uh, lot of fucking money. And that appears to have come from one person. Uh, they did not win, uh, sadly. The uh, person that they were uh, fighting against uh, won. They are in Japan. Um, it's, it, the news is kind of... It, it, it's bad. Uh, they don't expect to ever see that again. Um, because the guy literally posted... Let me just find this. The winner of the auction left an anonymous message saying that they bought it to stop copy sales and dumps. And they also said, um, I will always protect it as a Japanese treasure. Oh my God, I'm making the wank motion so hard. I swear I'd rip my fucking dick off. It's This is the stuff that makes me not want to deal with the shit at all. We have people who are very obviously spiteful and up their own ass and think that they're the only people who could, you know, who can protect something. Owning it is not protecting it. Preserving it by yourself, does you're not preserving a treasure that way. You're, you're just holding on to a piece of plastic that's going to rot. So if it's a treasure, why not get it out there? It's a sense of superiority. It's a, it's a superiority it's complex. Narciss- it's narcissistic yep. to think that only I should be able to enjoy this. Make no mistake, that has nothing to do with uh, worrying about money. The, the fact that copy sales are, I guess, pirated copies. Yes, that can be a... You might think that's bad, but if you have to spin around in your, head that, in your own head that that's worse than no one being able to access it, I just don't get that. I, I, I also don't believe it. I, I think that's, that's bullshit. I think it's that's bullshit. bullshit. It's bullshit. Um, it's bullshit, obviously. Because um, you can still protect it and have it dumped. It, it, it's it, it's simply a power trip. People want to find power in anything they can do. Yeah. And this is how people in game collecting uh, get their kicks. This is how they get off on power is to own something that no one else has and then come up with a bullshit reason behind why they couldn't dump it. I had a, had a sh- short Twitter exchange with uh, Steve Lynn. Um and he, he mentioned that when he's approached people in the past to, you know, to purchase, if he heard something was for sale, uh, potentially an undone prototype, and he was refused to buy them because, oh, you'll just take it and Oh, yeah, and I, have I, it I saw that. He had tweeted that. Yeah, basically, they're like, oh, you're that, you're that uh, person. Game history or guy. And, yeah. yeah, we don't want that. And my response was, well, then what, who, who are they okay selling it to? Are they only okay to selling it to collectors that are going to keep it locked up? forever in a vault person to person like some sort of weird fucking treasure like some sort of weird grail and that's what i think some of these people think they think that this is something that since it's one of a kind that there's some power or mystique imbued in in a physical object like like it's a fucking like painting yeah it's not a painting it's a tomb holding some digital information that people work yeah, on exactly that were supposed to be sold to the public at some point and they decided not to and and, and the body it was going to be decaying inside yes time, there is a time limit here it was a product an entertainment product that just didn't make it out to the world for business reasons or a company went under or they went in a different direction that's all that's all that is. It's not the Mona Lisa. Yeah. But it's a treasure. It's not the fucking shroud of Turin that you have out there. It's not. So, 
there's no good solution to this. Um, if, because, because if it's just a money thing, you're always going to have some rich person out there that has too much money to spend that'll spend. I, in the past, undumped prototypes on, if you want to say NES, Super Nintendo, they go for a you know, grand, couple grand, you know, yeah. you a little bit more than that. And most $13,000, almost 14 grand. That's nuts. And at that point, almost everyone's priced out except people like this that just have a, you know, almost, almost, again, almost happened with the SimCity NES. It almost happened. Yep. Almost fucking happened. Hmm. There's not much you can do. Uh, uh, humans are scum. A lot of humans are scum. Um, that's the only thing I can say. And it, and it bleeds into almost every avenue of our lives. Uh, stuff that you you think is important, obviously, and then inconsequential stuff that 90% of people be like, well, who cares? It's just a video game. But for us, it's very important, obviously, because this is, what, this is what we deal with. This is our industry. So... We're going to get into a topic which might explain why this is happening, but I think one of the reasons why this is happening, I believe, is um, there's been a focus, a shift uh, in, in, the time, in, in certain people getting into video game collecting in general that I think this has caused, mm. or this is at least isn't helping. These prices go up for some of this stuff. Um, yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on it. Um, so, um, maybe we see this game... Uh, indie the magical kid maybe we see it in 20 years from now but this person decides to sell it or they die and someone else gets it but then you hope that the person that gets the game knows what it is doesn't just dump it or or sells it to someone who doesn't know what it is sure. you know like no you want them to dump it but you mean doesn't just sell it off I mean I mean, well, I mean dump it off to someone yeah. give it to mm -hmm. someone who doesn't know what it is which is a danger when this stuff happens so Kind of depressing topic, Ian. Yeah, you wouldn't want it to go to Patrick Scott Patterson, for instance. Oh, he'd preserve it. Oh, sure would. He'd preserve it. 